We restart that tomorrow. Montreal's Black Film Festival gets underway here in town for almost two weeks. More than 120 films will be shown at different theaters around town. A way for Montrealers to celebrate Black culture, community, and to discover some upcoming creative talent. Fabienne Cola is here. We were chatting during the break and kept chatting right when the <laughs> segment started. That's fine, though. This is the sixth edition for you guys, and it's really a great way to bring this unique festival here to the city. Absolutely, absolutely. And we're very delighted that we can offer the Montrealers so many films, films that they would never have been able to see without this festival because um, we have 128 films and 100 premieres. It is wonderful. Speaking of premieres, one of the films that you gave us a clip of is this movie called The Silent Army, mm -hmm. uh, which will be premiering tomorrow at uh, the Blurry uh, Cinema Imperial on mm -hmm. Blurry Street, which is obviously a great venue. And this one tackles the issue of child soldiers, which is a big issue in Africa, for example. Mm -hmm. It's a big issue, and the director, which is from the Netherlands, Javan de Valde, yes. so he's coming tonight. He will be there hosting the, the, the opening, and uh, he, he was born in Africa, though, so it is something very personal for him, and it's a real story, so we invite everybody to come. It's a tough story. It's a tough film, but it's so much uh, relevant. And we're going to be looking at their short films, there's long films, there's animations. The other thing I thought was fascinating, though, is that as part of this, you guys are going to be talking about the realities and the challenges of black cinema, both in Canada and Quebec, but also abroad. What are those realities or challenges? Well, um, it is a, the black film industry is a very independent kind of industry. So whenever you're talking about independent films you, industry, you're talking about challenge um, in terms of financing. So um, there's a big problem there. And there are some taboos also because, you know, there's some, some questions like homosexuality and so much more that they, they don't want to um, talk about head on. So we're trying to um, make people know about that and see if we can and explain and, and talk and chat and debate on all those realities with the public, the audience. Because I guess if for some in the black community who are more traditional, these are some taboo areas. Yes, absolutely. For example, within the, the, the black community, anywhere you go in the world, this homosexuality thing is really taboo and it's a big problem because you cannot be black and gay at the same time. At some, in some countries, you can be in prison for being gay, you can be killed, you can be lynched, so it's very tough. And then we decided, for example, we have so many themes, but homosexuality is one of the themes and it's for the first time that we, we're going to have films on that. Tell me a little bit as well about your own background uh, and your connection to Haiti because, of course, more than nine months ago now, we had the earthquake. Yeah. It has dropped off the headlines in, in a lot of ways, despite the fact that the hardship continues and will continue for years to come. This festival is also a chance to raise awareness about that for people. Absolutely. Well, I'm coming from Haiti. I'm a Haitian myself, and the festival was um, used to be called the Haitian Film Festival way before it's, it's now the Montreal Black Film Festival because we just opened up to all communities. And we're going to have a special debate um, roundtable at NFB Cinema about Haiti's earthquake, and then with three NGOs working for the reconstruction as well. So it's in the program, so people can come and discuss and understand what's going on. And we have films about that, about the earthquake. Um, we have uh, real footage of uh, the, the, the earthquake and everything. So yes, we're trying to raise awareness about Haiti, about what should come on for Haiti. And yeah. r really quickly, tell me why you think it's important to have a black film festival. Well, it's a worldwide movement, first of all, because we have black film fest. Well, there is Black Film Festival in London, there's one in Amsterdam, there's one in Milan, one in France, one in Los Angeles, uh, New York, uh, everywhere in the world there is this movement. So Montreal cannot be there watching, so we have to get inside of it, and then because it's a, it's a reality, black, the black condition, it's a reality, it's a culture. So we are celebrating black culture, but at the same time, we want people to understand and to discover this, um, those challenges that those communities face, so that's why we created the Montreal Black Film Festival, and we hope that now filmmakers, especially black filmmakers, will um, consider Montreal as like a big city to come and launch their films. I want to thank you very much for coming on. You're so energetic. I love it. <laughs> thank you so much, Todd. All the best for the festival. Thank you for having me.